economic greed, of course, coming on the heels of the Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Polaz again warning us in our Canadian household, borrowing costs are going to be on the rise. Joining us to weigh in on the health of the economy and the case for higher rates is Benjamin Hall, Deputy Chief Economist at CIBC. Good to see you, Benjamin. Thank you, a pleasure. So when you take a look at today's GDP report, it doesn't seem to have changed the market's view that there's not an overwhelming chance of a rate hike before the holidays. Nothing hot enough in there to force Polaz's hand? No, I don't think so. I think that uh, January is the date, and I think that he's very happy to do so. The question is this uh, 3% that everybody's talking about, the neutral rate. You know what? The neutral rate is a theoretical rate. Nobody really knows what it is. You cannot actually touch it. And if you ask all those uh, researchers in the Bank of Canada if they are willing to bet their paycheck, how accurate this 3% is, I don't think they will be willing to do it. It's a theoretical number. And my fear is that we are chasing something that is in the air and might actually impact real life uh, because um, every economic recession was helped, if not caused, by a monetary policy error in which central bankers uh, were chasing inflation that was not there, took interest rates much too high and killed the economy. You know, the 91 recession and the housing market crash in Ontario was all about a monetary policy error, and even the Great Recession was helped by a green spine raising interest rates like there is no tomorrow. So we have to be careful here. I know it seems that no one's fully believing uh, Governor Polos, and he, he repeated it again yesterday in uh, testimony uh, to lawmakers in Ottawa that Canadians better get used to this idea that they got to hit that around 3% rate. Uh, you're not in that camp. I can't find anyone who actually thinks that this, this economy, based on where we are right now, it's not terrible, but it's not gangbusters. No justification for being that aggressive. Yes, and he will tell you, listen, the economy is here, interest rates are here, we should go back to what is consistent with the economy, which I totally understand. But we have to remember that the housing market is already slowing down. We had B20, all the changes to regulations, that really slowing down the market in a very significant way. We see it in construction, we see it in housing starts, and in, in the resale market, so it's clearly slowing down there. I don't think that the oil market uh, is on fire. The consumer is starting to slow down. Consumer credit is slowing down. Consumer credit now is rising at the slowest rate in any non-recessionary period over the past 50 years. So you have to be in a recession in order to see credit rising so slowly. So now you want to add more interest rate hikes to it. So I'm not so convinced that the data will allow Polas to go to this promised land of 3% neutral rate. Is the Bank of Canada almost playing the role of the parent who warns us of the consequences if we do that thing? Don't do that, Gregory. Don't do I'm thinking of my own childhood now. Don't do that or else this is going to happen. I feel like Mark Carney was telling us the same thing. Uh, Jim Flaherty, when he was the finance minister, the late Jim Flaherty, telling us the same thing. Stop borrowing so much money. One day there will be a day of reckoning. Yes, and you know what? We are all obsessed with this debt-to-income ratio at 170%. Every person in this country knows this number. We are all obsessed with it. I think it should be part of the citizenship test or something. <laughs> you know, it's totally, we are totally aware of that. But guess what? We have been listening. That's the point that I'm making. Credit is rising at the slowest rate in any non-recessionary period over the past 50 years. This is big. Credit is not rising fast by any stretch of the imagination. Over the past 10 years, we have been regulating the mortgage market at a rate we haven't seen before. And the, less, the, the latest move, which is B20, namely the changes to regulation, is a game changer that is slowing down uh, the market in a very significant way. So you don't need to tell Canadians not to borrow. They are not borrowing. If the Bank of Canada, though, on the other end of the argument, if they can't get their key rate back to 3% based on the economic fundamentals, how much trouble will we be in when the next recession rolls around and they're like, oh, we have to start cutting again, we're cutting from a very low level? Yes, that's the, the reason why you would like to raise interest rates. The question is, what is the neutral rate? Is it 2%? Is it 2.5%? Is it 3%? You don't want to go to a neutral rate, which is not the real one. And I think that's the debate, because it's not something you can touch. It's something that you imagine. It's, it's, it's a theoretical number. And I suggest that maybe 3% is actually way too high, given where we are in the economy, given the demographic story, given the productivity, and many other reasons. When you take a look at this economic report, and obviously it was a tick better than was expected, and, you, and we get the headline of seven straight months of GDP growth, but overall, the way the Canadian economy is taking shape, where are your concerns about growth? Clearly, construction, housing is one aspect that has been carrying this economy for a while. The consumer cannot continue to spend at this rate, so the consumer will slow down. I don't see the 
energy sector investing like there is no tomorrow because uh, of the issues that we are facing with pipelines and other uh, factors. And uh, business investment, yes, we are getting the uh, good news from NAFTA too, but uh, the rest is not so good. You know, the, the tax cuts in the U.S., all those other factors are making it much more difficult for Canadians to invest. So I don't see one industry that will lead uh, the pack here, and I think that's the reason why even Polas is telling you we will get maybe one eight, one nine percent GDP growth if we are lucky. Uh, this is not uh, an environment in which we want to start raising interest rates uh, at a rapid pace. All right, Benjamin, thanks for your insight and your time as always. Thank you, a pleasure. It was Benjamin Hall, Deputy Chief Economist at CIBC.